guys in this video we will be learning json in python first we will see what is json json stands for javascript object notation it is very popular and widely used data format it is platform neutral which means it will work with any programming language and operating system right so json is a lightweight format with the ability to convert to native javascript object Right. JSON is a bit like XML but simpler and shorter to write. JSON, if you see, it is only for storing and exchanging data. Okay, JSON is text written with JavaScript object notation. Python has a built-in package called JSON which can be used to work with JSON data. If you see how the JSON data looks like, so you will see right here okay supposing you have a file which is containing this type of information you see this is a name of any employee you can consider right age email employee we have further departments which departments this employee is working for we have addresses addresses have more fields like street country state so you can say this is just a single record for the employee right which represent an employee each fields you can mention like this right if you have more than one employees then you can use this bracket okay this square brackets it means if you want to add another employee into this json format so you can just simply say oma and curly braces open and close and you mention your other name of employee like right? you can say anything okay say ram okay so it represents two records in this format raj and ram okay and those two records are distinct okay so json actually what it does json is a common standard right to read the data and write the data okay all applications all type of software tools they support json files right json can be interpreted easily by any language by any programming language okay but there should be some rules right the json file should contain the information in this format like key and value okay one record represent in this open and close curly braces second record represent in open and close curly braces so this is the simple rule for json file okay you can copy and paste this content into any of the file saying dot json it will be saved on your drive in on your folder easily and then you can read this file into your python program you can read this any file any json file into any programming language whether it is web application whether it is window service whether it is window application whether it is any tool you can read any json files you can write any json file so what we'll do we'll be covering few methods which python supports in in this json module right dumps load dump load right these are different different methods which actually reads you know content from the json files and write back to the json file so we'll be seeing python list to json so simple python list how we can convert this to json we can format json data and we will see how we can get the json data from api okay in the python programs so those things will be covering in this tutorial let me delete this json data first and then you can get started with our tutorial and you must have heard about serialization and deserialization term in the programming so these terminologies actually deals with the json files right or xml files you can say what is serialization it's a process of converting an object or data structure into a json string right if we talk about json right so it's a converting an object python object or data structure object into json string that is serialization okay and deserialization means it's a process of converting a json string right the string which i shown you that string we can convert to the object right we can convert this string into the object python object right so that is called a deserialization okay serialization and deserializations are very important techniques for working with json data in various contexts you know from web development to the data analysis and beyond 
any programming language will provide built-in libraries or packages to make serialization and deserialization easy and efficient right so we are going to let's say import json okay we are going to cover this json dot dumps first okay just see carefully what it does so json dumps function is used to serialize a python object into a json a string remember right the python object into json a string the dump function takes a single argument the python object and returns a json a string okay so let's see we have imported the json module okay we have created a object if you print right so you will see the output looks like right this is our object if you want to see what is the type of the object so you will get to know the type of object with help of type function you see is a type of dictionary right so we say the json format always contains the content in form of key and value right so dictionary represents key and value pairs this is a key and this is a value right so this is very simple objects and what we said json dumps actually converts the python object into the json string right so we are going to use json dot dumps right okay so how so you have to take one maybe the variable string which will return a string let's say s1 we are going to take and json module and then we have to use dumps function okay and we have to pass on our object which we are going to serialize okay let's say print s1 simple just run it you will get the same output okay because it's actually it's a type of string okay you see and it returns the string back to the print statement okay so you will get the same output right if you see the dump function what it does so it is saying serialize object to a json format string clear so this is the function that actually convert an object to the string okay now let's see what is json dot loads what is this function this function is used to parse a json string into a python object right the load function takes a single argument and the json string and returns a python object right how okay so already we have taken the string this is a string simply and we are going to convert this string back to the object a string right we can say s2 this is our another string and we are going to say give me correct this is a string and this string i am going to pass on to the loads right and it will give me the object let's say i am taking object one this time json dot loads okay here it will accept what it what it is accepting it is accepting a string you see a string it is accepting and you have the string okay and this is now our object right this is now our object if you print this object so print that is object one you will get the same output right you see this is a object for us this is not a string it converted this is string into the object right so this is very easy you have seen dumps and loads that brings us to the end of the today's video we hope you found it informative and engaging don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things tech related thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video